Determine the n behavior of the given function. f of x is equal to x raised to the fourth. So the uh, first step is uh, we have to kind of figure out what they mean by n behavior, right? Uh, essentially what they mean is what happens to the f of x value. Remember, this could be kind of thought as y, all right? What happens to the y value of the function as x approaches, as x approaches negative infinity? and then as it approaches positive infinity, okay? So you can kind of just think this through, actually. I mean, you can think about what happens if I start plugging in larger uh, and larger negative values, okay, into my, into x. So pretend you had something like, um, pretend you had something like uh, negative, um, you know, 10 raised to the fourth, all right? Now, if this is in the parentheses, uh, what'll happen is, right, as you, uh, multiply negative 10 by itself four times, that will equal positive 10,000, right? So in other words, whatever the sign was outside of those parentheses, it was positive out there, will also be the same as the sign of the value that will again eventually get spit out of the function, right? So what that means is that when you have a uh, positive leading coefficient, okay, and you have an even degree, the numbers here will go to positive infinity, basically. I know this isn't positive infinity, but it's going to go somewhere positive. So what that looks like on a graph is something like this. It's going to look just like this. It's going to smile at you, okay? The y values here are going up and up and up and up and up and up, and they're eventually going to reach, well, they're never going to reach technically because it's infinite, uh, but they're progressing towards infinity, positive infinity, that is. If the leading coefficient out here were to be negative, well, then this would have just been a negative value, and then what happens is the graph frowns at you. Okay, so it goes down and down and down and down and down, larger and larger negative values approaching negative infinity. Okay? So, just thinking it through, uh, we can figure out that the end behavior, you know, of this function, no matter what, is it's going to tend uh, to go to positive infinity. Right? And you can double check that by using the calculator, right? So go to the calculator, go to your y equals, okay? Let's clear that on out and type in x raised to the fourth, okay? And then hit graph. And look, that's what the graph looks like, right? The graph is basically telling you that this is going to go on and on and on and on and on forever in the positive y direction, okay? All the way to positive infinity. So that's the end behavior, okay? The end behavior on both ends, the end on the left-hand side, it's positive infinity it's going to go all the way out to, and on the right-hand side, it's gonna go all the way up to positive infinity. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hopefully that helped, and if it did, like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Be well.